different optic about uh, Hungary. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, it's like another face of Hungary, which is like interesting to see. Coming here, I actually did Google the place, but I didn't think that Shagotayan was like that big. And uh, first we came, saw the city, and then now I came to realize that you have a really nice uh, nature and a very huge forest. So uh, my impression is very, I, I love the place. I would come back. It was interesting because like it was really contrasting compared to Budapest because it's way bigger and like the structure of the city. Okay, so um, I mean, coming from Budapest, what really struck me about the two main places was the fact that you can clearly identify the natural environment that you have here. Um, it clearly stood out. So the first thing you you realize when you get here is the fact that there are a lot of trees, there are a lot of uh, beautiful environment to experience. Well, first and foremost, I want to say that uh, uh, in the context of environment, it's so important to conserve the environment and uh, we can't run away from it. Whether you are rich, whether you're poor, you really need environment. I mean, that is where yeah, trying to preserve nature and history is, my, in my opinion, the first step to preserve a city. So, like, yeah. So for me, I believe that um, every major city in the world we see today uh, went through some transformation. So I believe uh, once your city was once at its peak, everyone was attracted to it, and now people don't really seem to be attracted to it. I feel it's just uh, some changes that every city goes through. So um, I would just want to encourage everyone to come to your town and have the natural view of uh, experience because it is very, very welcoming. And uh, also, I mean, I see that like economically it's not doing well, but like you train your best via tourism and like trying to promote other sector, which is, I think, a good idea. And like, like might save the city. I hope so. So yeah, basically I would say that. And like also, not me, but my friend went to do shopping. They're really nice and interactive. Try like we were buying stuff, but like yeah, they're really nice. I mean, in Budapest they're also nice, but like even though we are coming to buy stuff, they're not like that welcoming. They're like hello, have a good shopping. Here they are more ah hello. So like you can see in the like expression, facial expression that like they are more happier that like to see other face, different face. So yeah, I think that's the most striking difference between the two aspects. I mean. To see the mine, it was really interesting. Uh, also, like uh, we went to the cemetery with some friends. I mean, it sounds creepy, but like it was really interesting to see. Like uh, there, was, there was life before. Like it's a old city. They have there is a history behind. So like seeing like uh, the cemetery was interesting. Also, like um, you, if you the youths actually you manage to work to make this work and I hope you do and you get the youths to come back because I feel like the young generation revives the city uh, then I think Shagotayan is looking at uh, a very impressive future. And um, I also want to appreciate you guys uh, for what you are doing in your town because uh, I believe uh, we all have our different aspirations and goals however seeing young people come together to do a project like this uh, trying to revive the city is very refreshing. It's, it's more like something that I'm, I'm really uh, excited to see the outcome because you normally don't see people coming together to achieve something for their goals. Everyone basically wants to move out of the city and build their own lives, but you guys are trying to make something for your own town and I think everyone should get on board and support you. Yeah. I love the place and I'm gonna recommend it to like all of my friends and I have many, <laughs> yeah.